Going back to the Olympian, now obviously there's a lot of talk. I think I, I find it funny when people say, oh, Brandon Curry's looking better than Sean Rowe. Well, yes, it doesn't, like you said, it doesn't really matter how they look now. Maybe sometimes, you know, it, it's how they look at the Olympia. What do you think will happen at the Olympia this year? Who, who have you really got your eye on? I think, you know what, the show is wide open. That's, yeah, yeah. The show is so wide open, it's never been to who? open. To who? For, for the top six. Right. The show has never been this open because every year for the last seven years it was Phil. Mm -hmm. Before that there was Jay. Before that it was Ronnie. So there was never any debate that who's going to beat the champ. Mm. Plus it was. Then, yeah. And I said this right after Sean Roden won last year. Sean Roden is the is the is the one that is being beat by every single one of them in the top six. Yes. Because mm -hmm. his 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 level of consistency when it comes to condition was never. 100%. Yeah. So he's always, he was great this year. He was uh, last year. You know what I mean? So it, it, it fluctuates a lot. So that's why I was a little disappointed because I thought as a Mr. Olympia, he's putting it all his focus a whole year. Mm. And it's not like he travels so, so much. Mm. You know what I mean? But, uh, you know, hey, they might have a game plan that we know we don't know about. So mm. let's see yeah. what happens. But mm -hmm. I expect a little bit more. And I think that even Dexter is now. Everybody feels great going into the Olympia. I think. Yeah. But who do you, who do you really think? Who do you think the the ones that you've got a really personal good feeling about? Because a lot of people now, obviously Brandon Curry's won the Arnold Classic. He's looking very good. He's made massive improvements. He's gone back. He's going back to uh, to Kuwait. You know, a lot of people saying, "Look, this guy. He got fifth. He was eighth the year before in 2017. He was fifth last year. This guy could win the Olympia. Do you think he can go? Can jump that high?" Just keep in mind, they all competed two times this year already. Yeah. So you want to you want to pay a little attention to what have they done this year? How much stress is their body under? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I mean, the mind can tell you all kinds of things. If your body's not responding, then yeah. you know you're going to have a problem that you can run into later on. Yeah. So there's a there's a good possibility that they won't be as good as they were earlier this year. Yeah. Because you know, yeah. you know, your body doesn't like, especially when you're at this size and this amount of muscle. Your body doesn't really like to peak twice a day. I mean, a year. Yeah, but Brandon Curry, he's kind of gone back home. He's obviously, he's, he's still, obviously by the Pittsburgh guest spot, he's holding very good size and condition. He's obviously oh, in, a, in a more relaxed rest. He's not kind of like full on like he is in Q8. Do you not think when he gets back to Q8, he's going to be refreshed? And if he's looking this good, kind of resting, how good do you think he'll look up come Olympia time? Well, I have no doubt that he's going to be super motivated after winning the Arnold. Yeah, yeah. But like I said, the mind and the body sometimes don't cooperate. Yeah. So hopefully it's okay because he competed a lot last year too. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and I don't remember, uh, you know, Brandon Curry doing the San Marino Pro after the uh, after the um, uh, the Olympia two years ago where he got beat by uh, 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 Hadi Chopper. Yes. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's things that should yeah. never happen. I was there. I was there. To a top contender at the big Mr. Olympia. Should never happen in a contest. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So there's, there's, you know, there's, you can see there's, not everybody, there's no consistency. You can't, mm. you can't say this is like a Dexter who's always in shape. Mm. None of them. None mm. of them. The only one that was pretty much consistent next to Dexter was, there's one, William Bonac. You can be sure that he's going to be in shape. Yep. Yeah. Phil. And Phil was consistent with his condition, you know, you know, plus minus a little bit, but he was always good. Mm -hmm. So all the other guys, they all have a, you know, this, the track record is not consistent enough for me to say, oh, he's going to be fucking unbeatable. Yeah, you know, it's way too early to say that. You know what I mean? And we don't know what's going to happen. 